we no longer had the white sahib uh, uh, lording over us, but we did have the brown sahib lording over mm -hmm. us. And without much material progress, without uh, uh, prosperity, without a social contract. And uh, it, what one saw there was not just the second independence movement, but a movement for decolonizing the institutions of state, decolonizing uh, the bureaucracy, police, the whole mentality of governance to make mm -hmm. it more people oriented. Uh, so not just de uh, decolonization, you can even call it democratization. So full mm -hmm. democratization, which we don't have. We have feudalism with elections. Uh, mm -hmm. So from that movement, you know, we saw the rise of a whole new generation of young leaders, mm -hmm. uh, some of whom went on to become state level satraps like uh, of the RJD and uh, uh, the SP. Whereas you also saw the rise of many of the leaders that gained prominence in the 2000s mm -hmm. uh, so, or in the late uh, 90s as well under Vajpayee. Uh, so the Janta Party that grew out of the uh, emergency. So during the emergency, all of the opposition was locked up. Mm -hmm. uh, and afterwards, uh, well, not all of the opposition, the CPI was not locked up because it cooperated <laughs> with the Congress, CPM was. But uh, the old uh, Bharatiya Jansang, so the predecessor of uh, uh, the uh, BJP, uh, the socialists, so George Fernandez, um, and the CPM were jailed. After the emergency, there were elections and we saw the Janta Party Alliance, which was this big tent alliance of uh, various parties. So Moraji Desai's Congress, uh, the Jansang, the Socialists, the so Samyuk Socialist Party, and they came to power. And that period from 1977 to 1980 was the birth of modern India. That many of the names that are household names today started off their time in, uh, in politics during that period. And that mm -hmm. could be Lalu Prasad Yadav, it could be uh, Subramanyam Swami could be uh, Sushma Swaraj, Pramod Mahajan. Uh, these people started off during that time. 